So there's this insane phenomenon called the prosperity gospel, where preachers say, send me all your money, I'm going to get rich, I'm going to drive around in limos and have private jets and spend your money and take you for a fool and tell you that Jesus Christ wants me to fly on a private jet. How can anybody believe this? Black preachers do it, white preachers do it. There's a, a black preacher named Creflo Dollar. He changed his name to Dollar. <laughs> and people are like, oh yeah, absolutely. Here you go, here's my, here's all my life savings, go ahead. Uh, please uh, let me into heaven. Yeah, because God, when he's figuring out who's going to get into heaven, uh, is going to ask Creflo Dollar. Hey, Creflo, how much did they pay you? They pay you, oh, how many jets you got? Oh, you're up to six. All right, go ahead, let him in there. Who can possibly believe that? But unfortunately, Christians in this country, you know, I assume they mean well, don't send your hard earned money to these guys. But they do believe it. They believe that God's going to help them if they give money to these scam artists. Now, in this case, it's Kenneth Copeland and Jesse Duplantis. His name sounds like duplicitous. Anyway, that are talking here. They happen to be uh, white gospel preachers. They also happen to believe that all your money should go into their pockets. And they're going to talk about why they need private jets. You're thinking, no, that can't be true. They're not really going to tell. Yes, they are. Watch. Got in the plane that God so graciously gave us. And we're flying home. As I was going home, the Lord, real quickly, he said, Jesse, do you like your plane? Now, you know, I thought that's an odd statement. He gave, I said, well, certainly, Lord. He said, do you really like it? And I thought, well, yes, Lord. He said, then he said this, so that's it? I didn't know how to handle it, but I went, what? He said, you're going to let your faith stagnate? Now, when he said that, that shocked me. I went, whoa, wait. I literally unbuckled my seatbelt, my plane, I stood up. My pilots looked around and said, do you need something? I said, no, no, I'm talking to God right now. And he, just, <laughs> and he went back to flying. You couldn't have done that on an airliner. No, sir, no way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? No. Okay, no, yeah. And the guy sitting over there saying, what the hell does he think he's doing? <laughs> you can't do you that. You can't do that. No, no. The world is in such a shape, we can't get there without this. That's right. We've got to have this. We would have, the mess that the airlines are in today, I would have to stop. I'm being very conservative. At least 75 to 80, more like 90% of mm -hmm. what we're doing, because you can't get there can't, from here. It's impossible. Oh, no, no, yeah, God said, I need my pirate jet. I mean, I can't get there from here. Of, co of course you can. You just take a regular plane, right? Oh, no, but I, 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 I'm talking to God. <laughs> I love this. Did you catch what he said in the middle? Uh, first of all, they're having a show where this guy claims he's talking to God, and God is telling him to buy a second jet. He says, you don't want your uh, uh, ministry to stagnate, do you? Because if you only had one private jet, well, Jesus would be very displeased. Who can believe that? Who can believe that? But apparently millions of Americans. They're like, oh, yeah, no, no. It, it, God probably wanted to talk to this guy. And now he's like, all right, God, what are you doing? Oh, pilot, don't no, go back to flying the plane. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Okay, uh, so God, what are you saying? Oh, no, yeah, I should get a second plane. Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I mean, you can't. Talk to God when there's all this riffraff around in a regular plane, right? I mean, uh, Oral Roberts, who's one of the godfathers of the snake oil salesman routine in the first place, uh, he apparently uh, messed up and would fly among regular people. Yuck! They explain that here. When I was flying for Oral Roberts, now Oral used to fly airlines, right? But it, even back mm -hmm. there then, man, mm -hmm. it, it got to the place where it was agitating his spirit, sure. people coming up to him. He right. had become famous and they wanted him to pray for him and right. all that. You, you, can't, you, you can't manage that today, right. the, this dope-filled world, right. and get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right, that's exactly the And it, it's deadly. And, and it works on your heart, it really does. So I, anyway, I, I wanted to make that clear so the devil can't lie to you and say, see there, them preachers spending all that money, just, just fat cats riding around. <laughs> it's not a comedy skit. It, 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 that's funnier than any comedy skit I've ever seen, but it's not one. <laughs> They're serious. Uh, if I flew with you all, regular people, that, that's a long plane, long plane full of demons. He's calling you demons. Who, who are the demons in the plane? It's regular citizens. No, no, no. We well, can't have that. Oh, Roberts would have regular people come up and talk to him and have him try to pray for him. I mean, he's a preacher. 
You're not supposed to pay for you, right? <laughs> and people look at that and go, oh my God, they're so right. I mean, they can't be in a plane with riffraff like me if they're going to have conversations with God. This is not about fat cats. Not about fat cats. No, God told them. I mean, if God hadn't told them, maybe it wouldn't be the case. But God told them that he needs a second private jet. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got a guy uh, riding regular planes filled with demons who's running to be the head of this country. Who's doing pretty well, has a good chance at it. Can I see his picture real quick? That's Bernie Sanders in a middle seat. <laughs> he's in coach and he's in a middle seat and he apparently doesn't mind a plane filled with demons. <laughs> he's doing just fine there. See, that's a humble man. That's a real man. That's a man looking after your own interests. The guys who are on their private jets are laughing their asses off at you as you send them money. What did Jesus do first? I and mean, if you are a Christian, a real Christian, what did he do first? He threw out the money changers from the temple. Here are the money changers going, build me a larger temple and then give me a couple of private jets on top. And you look at that and go, oh, okay. I mean, I barely made any money today, but I guess instead of eating three times a day, I'll eat twice a day, and I'll give my money to them so they can talk to God in their private jets. Oh, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Behind the scenes, they're going, ha, we got all that money. <laughs> don't believe the hype, man. They're, they're snake oil salesmen on a plane.